Hey everybody, Games R Us coming to you guys with part 3 of our Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal playthrough. In the last episode, we made it to Planet Mercadia and are, on, and are on our way to save the president. So, today we'll be doing Operation Iron Shield Part 1. Drive the Tyranoids out of the compound, then defend the area against a series of brutal attacks worth 3,000 bolts. We can now get the Suck Cannon. Beautiful. Let's secure the area. Let's go. Yeah, I believe you can skip this too, once that saving part's done. Yeah, you can just skip over that by clicking X. Sometimes strangle. Okay, so the suck cannon can't do anything against these enemies, so screw that right now. Suck cannon only deals with small enemies. But only when, um... You can actually use them to attack, like, bigger enemies too. But you do need to be able to suck up smaller enemies. I don't know why that came out so difficult. Okay, so Suck Cannon, for example, can be used to suck up these little guys. And then you can use them to shoot the bigger enemies. It's actually a pretty strong weapon if you have ammo for it. Oh, he might actually poop out little ones. Maybe? Eh, I don't think he is. Let's just blow him to smithereens. Alright, we got another one. Ooh, we need to use our Nitro Launcher, which we only have one ammo. Upgrade! Ah, darn it. This thing takes forever to upgrade, I swear. We're not dead meat, boys. There we go, we upgraded it. Oh, it looks like it has an aiming mod. No, maybe not. Also, why do you guys mean you need backup? These guys aren't doing anything to us. They haven't even hurt any of us, man. Okay, these guys can die to the... Shock Blaster. Boom. There are only three hits within it. Hello, little guys. How you guys doing today? There we go. And then once you complete a mission, all the bolts laying on the ground will automatically zoom into you. Now we have Air Assault. The Rangers can't hold out much longer. They need backup now. Save as many Rangers as you can. Yeah, you can't actually let them all die. If they all die, you do lose. And also, don't bother with those crates again, because they literally do nothing. They give you, like, ten bolts, maybe, for the entire group of boxes. Oh, you guys killed them all yourself. Like, what, what do you need me for? Fire! Fire! They're everywhere? What are you talking about? We're literally waiting on enemies to actually spawn in. <laughs> Ooh, we're almost at 20 health. I'll get to show you guys what happens when we get to that point. Boom. Oh. Need to suck up your little minions again. Thank you. Oh, you guys killed them anyway. Nice. Take a preach there, buddies. Sumo Ratchet needs all the help you can get. Not really. He's actually pretty strong on his own. He is a god tier sumo wrestler, after all. And yay, they're all toast. Oh yeah, another tip. Watch this. You can use the boxes too. And you actually get to see them shoot out the boxes, which I thought was a cool little feature. Oh, we got another Chungus over here. He's gone. Oh, hello, son. I wonder if I can hit you. Eh, I don't think so. It won't let me lock on. It's not even the one I aimed at. He just kind of jumped down in front of us. Easy. 4,500 bolts. Now we have turret command. Get to the plasma turret and blast those noid dropships out of the sky. Scram. Nice. Need to take out those enemy dropships. The sauces are just... Now, once again, you just use circle. And then you just gotta shoot these dropships and the saucers that spawn in. Normally they'll try and take down the saucers for you, but they won't always do a good job, which is sad, but whatever. I have an itchy nose. Let me scratch my nose, thank you. Oh, we got another dropship inbound, guys. Just kinda like lead on and you can get some good damage. Covering fire, what do you mean? You guys aren't really doing anything right now. They always say it like out of place. They're like covering fire when there's nothing. Oh, oops, I was attacking the wrong one apparently. And yeah, these little ground guys will attack you. 
Guys, I thought you guys were supposed to take care of the... This is the last wave, okay. Remember, kind of lead on. Oh, hang on, we got these guys to deal with. Oh, we're gonna be shot. Oh, oh, never mind. And that was it, really? Alright. Under the gun, provide covering fire for the repair crew until they can get the turret operational again. This is a time blood. So it's a mandatory two minute mission. Back online. Yeah. And they actually do use it. Oh, whoops, it wasn't even using that, but okay. Alright, okay, stop attacking the crew. Why did that, like, stop walking on and attack that one random enemy? What are you- oh. Well, two minutes to be precise. I don't know what you mean by no time, but okay. No time would imply zero seconds. Uh-oh, I'm out. I'm out, boys. Any more ammunition. There we go. We're good now. And there, see what I mean? It nukes all the enemies. That's what we're doing. They're attacking us and not them. You silly robots. Yeehaw, Mamacita. There we go, and then upgraded. Now let's use something else. Let's use the store. Which actually isn't that good against this guy. I guess it's not bad. We still have 30 seconds. We got this. We can actually destroy these, by the way. So it takes a lot of ammo at this point in the game. It'll actually be more mandatory to destroy them later on. Ooh, there's lots of enemies all of a sudden. Everybody time to die. Google gobble. So this is what I picture these enemies saying is Google gobble. There we go. Seventy five hundred bolts. Next one, hit and run. Use the bolt cranks to activate the automated turrets in sequence. Sounds difficult, but really isn't. These guys will generally cover you for the most part, but not always. So you just press square and then walk around it in a circle, nice and slow. The air missions to destroy the drops by activating these turrets. The ground enemies, on the other hand, won't be destroyed by the turrets. Now we need to find the next one, which looks like it's over here. Alright. Let's activate the second turret. If we don't get zapped by those two. Ooh, that was close. But no cigar today, boys. Uh-oh, what do we got going on over here? Uh-oh, these guys are coming in. Oh, we dodged those shots. You guys think you're all that? Nah, I'm the crew laid around here, man. Hey, Mr. Noid, dude. You're kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm fun. Did someone kill him? No, you guys just let a swarm attack me. Thank you. You troops are totally useful. Now you're over here, Mr. Robot Man. No. Also, where do these things come from? They weren't on the ground when we got here. We just installed the entire defense grid when uh, we were in the ship there after our turret blew up. You know we should be able to get this fairly easily as long as these little guys don't come and nuke us. Even them biting our toes will cause us to have a lot of pain in our butt. And there we go, 9,000. Agent Clank? What? You're even more impressive in person than you are on the holovid. And I must say, I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do, son. Who says you can't find good help these days, right, Clank? 
Sasha's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, kid. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? He has lost his memory, sir. Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... The city's laser shield went down during the attack. Now, we are defenseless without it. I sent out a repairman to fix it, but, but he disappeared. I need you to get that shield system back online. Yes, sir. We're on it. All right, so let's go to the defense grid. Ah, man, this is a beautiful game, isn't it? I remember getting this. I thought the name was hilarious because it was called Upper Arsenal. Oh yeah, this is where a skill point is, baby. We got a new gadget. This should be the refractor. Now, for the uh, skill point, you want to go into these lasers the and then just zap the enemies with it. Just like that. Hold L1 and use the left oh, watch out for TNT, because... If you touch it, it will go kablooey in three seconds. Otherwise, you can just throw your wrench at it to blow it up. Or you can smack it if you want to take damage, but that's up to you. So you just gotta aim it at those little points. And we got more enemies here, so I wonder if I can... There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey guys, how you guys doing? I didn't even mean to activate it, but okay. Thanks, game, for doing it for me. I was just trying to zap things with the laser beam. Yeah, so what you're doing is you're redirecting little laser beams to open up doors and other little goodies. Oh. Zappy, zappy boy. Ooh, big zappy boy. Oh yeah, you can actually deflect his attacks back at him. You can't shoot him with the refractor up. And sad part is the refractor doesn't actually level up, so it's not like you're getting anything out of it other than a skill point. But it's still fun to do so. Anyways, let's move this. It's gonna be a bunch of bouncing around. Also, our wrench is clipping through the bolt. You notice that? Alright, so it looks like we gotta zap you, and then it'll bounce off of him, which then will allow us to open up the door and deal with you. Now these guys on the other hand, you can't deflect their attack back at them. Their attack for some reason acts differently. Oh, there we go. You also can't redirect blue lasers for whatever reason. Only red lasers. Ooh, we almost have enough of the spitting hydra. Even though the infector or infectinator or infector is technically next. This part's a little annoying to kill the enemies with, though. Well, we killed them, I think. Oh yeah, this thing's kind of cool. It's like a little laser bridge. And it even sounds cool when you step on it. Oh, hey, big boy. Um, okay. Dessert. Not dessert, but dessert. Everyone likes dessert more than dessert, right? At least I do. Ratchet, there should be a spider symbol. After I kill him, thank you. Room. Say, I let the, the laser the spider drone over the symbol and then zap it with the laser. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was gonna say that to everybody, but thank you anyway. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies in here, but no laser beam. This is scary. Ah, I found the laser beam. There we go, we got the skill points, now it doesn't matter, let's whip them! Hey you, get back here. Ah. We're getting close to the ending too, so that's pretty darn sweet. Um, it's automatically doing it, I'm not doing anything. I wanted to attack the boxes, I don't know why the game was like, yeah, full crank it up, bro. And like, that's not what I wanted. Not at all, buddy. Ah oh, yes, little enemies, my favorite. Tiny little pathetic enemies. Yeah, we need some boots to go up there. They just kill themselves. Not like when enemies are dumb enough to suicide. Wait, why did it... Do you remember how I said that it automatically did it last time? 
yeah, automatically let go this time, so this game makes no sense. I can I touch it from here? And no. That one counted. I think there's like one more enemy. Or like an enemy and then a couple little guys, I think. Maybe it's just a couple little guys. It is just a couple of little guys and oh hey, who are you? Hey look, it's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating. What the that's a Quark Vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypass the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogram the graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean it. Uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive checksum on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened. May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. Stop playing video games on it. Like, sheesh. Yeah, now we're done here. We can't get anything else while we're here, so we'll head out and we'll go back to our ship. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I was like, why can't we fly back to the Starship Phoenix? And then I remember, we do actually have to return to our ship. Yeah. Now, I wonder what we can buy. We should probably get the armor, but I don't really feel like that's useful right now. We can get the infector. Okay, it is going to be infected, but... Might as well go back to the Starship Phoenix and go check out that vid comic. Now, vid comics are kind of interesting. I'll show you what, what we mean by that when we get there. I am having fun recording this game, though. It's one of those games that I love. There's only one planet I'm not a huge fan of. Not because it's a bad planet, just because I would have liked to see it done up a little differently than it was. This game is a lot more linear, a lot less explorative than other games, so... Yeah. Anyways, we, you know what? We could probably get that... I don't know. We need to go do this first, anyway. Let's go. Are all our weapons V2? Yeah, they're literally all V2. Here, let's go play this vid comic, though. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, he wasn't lying. So what you have to do here is obviously make it through. That it somehow clipped through and hit me. You have to collect a hundred of these little pork tokens. Red ones are worth five. And there's one health upgrade in every level. Also, you have to beat the level within a certain time frame to then get a skill point. And yeah. To do that, we're gonna have to wait till later. Why does everything keep hitting me? Like, well, that would that would didn't even hit me. Like my hitbox is really weird. Ah, uh, you're the buckwheat throwing things at me, pal. I don't like you very much. Yeah, and the only way to recover health is literally get the health upgrade, which we don't have yet. But we already have 60 of the tokens, so that's going fast. You can also knock enemies off cliffs. 
into spikes or other pits to kill them instantly. There are enemies behind us, but they're not really that much of a threat. Oh my god, a horde of rats! Holy ratness! Ratness Everdeen, I guess. Ah, oh, we got our blaster! Which we actually don't need to do anything here. You can just kill these enemies with a single shot apiece. Yeah, and that's it. Now we can just leave once it lets us. Watch out for the... I don't know, nibbly zombie ghosts, pirate skulls, I guess. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Whoa, you could hear it, but you couldn't see it yet. It was like, nom 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 nom. Our health upgrade should be here pretty quick. Also, did you see that? Our shot was going, like, into the back of the enemy, but not actually killing him. I recommend collecting everything in the first run and then speed running at the second. Because otherwise, we're gonna, you know, have issues. I think those things have, like, weird damage feedback. I don't know. We only need eight more of these things. We're getting close. A really cool. Hey, an elevator! We only need one more, and we didn't miss it. And you get a titanium bolt for every 100 you collect. You're dead, and the health upgrade in this level is kind of just basically right there in the middle. Now you have to defeat the boss. Apparently, hitting it in its butt didn't really do anything, but okay. Alright, so it's gonna come up here, we can just shoot it a lot there. We're out of ammo. I don't think you can punch- oh, you can actually punch it. It doesn't do a lot of damage, go figure. And I believe we're on to like, uh... Oh no, I thought we were on to the second phase. We're not on to the second phase yet. Oh, now we're under the second phase where it throws rocks at us to epically defeat us before we epically defeat it. Goodbye, giant evil space worm. And that's that level. Sounds like a sewer. And then you get bolts for this too. And you can't skip this for some reason. Looks like we're gonna get, what, 6,000 maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly 6,000. And now, we have to watch a cutscene. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots, I wonder if you were idiots. Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <clears throat> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. <laughs> I like that, right? Oh, yeah. Well, who's that handsome devil? It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig! What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred. Fred.
Wyatt is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a champ. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Fred didn't live Another very day, long. another death course. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And comment a hashtag ratchet sits on giant couch if you guys have turned on the bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time.